Hey world, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a favorites of 2015 video. It will be a little bit all over the place as far as different kinds of products. So I'll be doing a little bit of skincare, quite a few things of makeup, clothes, so boots and one other thing, um, some jewelry. So it'll, again, be sort of all over the place. So let's get right into it. The first thing that I want to do is makeup just because it is the largest amount of stuff that I'll be showing you. Um, the first thing that I'm going to be showing you is the Urban Decay 2 Naked Palette. As you can see, I've used, well, maybe you can't see that, but I have used pretty much every color in this palette, which is so rare for me because I just love every color that much. I don't think that there's a bad color in this palette. Um, one thing that's not here, it does come with a double-sided brush, uh, but that's with the rest of my brushes and, and I didn't want to include it in the, in the favorites video. They are, for the most part, shimmery, so if you don't like shimmery shadows, this might not be for you. I do think that they have a matte palette, though. Um, I might be wrong about that, don't kill me. Uh, but yeah, I mean, even the even the black is kind of shimmery. So looking at it, the only colors that aren't super shimmery are the Foxy, which I use this color as a my upper brow color, and Tease, which is this more taupey shade. I picked this up at Sephora. Um, I don't remember the co the price off the top of my head, but I will insert it into the video so you have it. Uh, so that is that. My next item is also a palette. This I got a little later in the year. It is the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. Um, I absolutely love this palette. I adore it. The colors are so beautiful. The pans are really generous. Um, this is another one that I have used most of the colors in this. I have not, I'm gonna be honest, I haven't used the cobalt blue-ish color, which they call Danger, and I have not used Harajuku, which is the sort of pinky fuchsia-y color. Um, but I think I've used everything else in this palette. It is so beautiful. And this, unlike the, the Urban Decay 2 that I just showed you, this does have some matte colors. So, Punk is matte, Zone and Anaheim, these two in the middle are matte, Stark is also matte, I mean, and the black, in contrast to the, the black that's in here, the black is like a true matte black. It is like the colors really pull you in and make you want to play with it. And when you're playing with it, I don't want to say it's foolproof, but I don't know, it kind of is. Like, I just can't see you really, maybe if you went really heavy with this danger color, which I find it ironic, it's called danger. Like, don't go too heavy on me. Um, but other than that, and I think there's plenty of women on YouTube that I watch that I think could smear that all over their faces and look gorgeous because they just know how to do their makeup so well. But this palette, I just, I really honestly feel like you can't go wrong with it. The next product that I'm going to show you is this Makeup Forever foundation. It is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Foundation. I am absolutely in love with this. I have used a lot of foundations. I have used Drugstore, CoverGirl, Maybelline, whatever. I've also used MAC. I swear by this. This is my holy grail foundation. I wear it every day. There are plenty of people who have multiple different shades of, not shades, but brands of foundation that they go to and depending on the day, they switch it up and they try on different ones. I, I am not one of those people. When it comes to stuff like this, uh, I find a product and I generally tend to stick with it. And unless something else out there is like blow your mind amazing, this is the one for me that I will be sticking with for 
the foreseeable future. I love it. Um, this is the shade 153 or Y405. Um, they recently changed their, not sure if you can see that. They recently changed their color coding system or their shade system. So that's why the two different numbers are there. But yeah, I, I just, I love Makeup Forever. I think it's amazing. Next, I will show you the Air Patrol by Benefit. Um, this is a eyeshadow primer and I love it. I first heard about this product on Coffee Break with Danny. She did a whole video um, about was it worth the hype and she loved it. And based on her recommendation, I went out and bought it and I have to say, I also love it. I put this on every single day. This is so special because it's also a, not just an eyeshadow primer, it's a sunscreen, which is so rare because in her video she talks about this too. A lot of, if you, so this is the most sensitive part of your, of your eye. The skin between here and here is some of the most sensitive, easily scratched and scarred and, you know, they tell you sort of pat on things rather than rubbing them on so that you don't stretch the skin out because it's so sensitive. And so you want to make sure that you're protecting this area of your face. The sunscreen is perfect for that, but as I'm sure you know, if you've ever tried to put on sunscreen in this part of your face, it will seep into your eye and then it will burn. And no one wants to be burned for obvious reasons. It's not comfortable. You crank it up, which mine's a little dirty, ignore that. You would crank it up from the bottom and because I have a lot of real estate going on right here, I end up cranking it more than, I think it says like, only crank it once. I end up doing it like two or three or four times. Um, dab it on and then pat it in um, and then apply your eyeshadow after that. You might wanna leave it for just a couple of seconds to let it sort of absorb in, but I think it absorbs really quickly. And then apply your eyeshadow. So not only is it amazing just because it has that sunscreen, which to me is worth all the money in the world, um, it sets your eyeshadow so nicely. I have put this on and applied my eyeshadow first thing in the morning and then gone through a full day of work and then gone out with my girlfriends at night and then come home late. And my eyeshadow looks like I just did it. It's amazing. I'll list this again, like I said earlier, I don't remember how much this is, but I will list the prices. I'll have them like inserted into the video so you can see it. Next thing I'm gonna show you guys is the Beauty Blender. Um, this is my second Beauty Blender. It's, it's a little dirty because I just applied my makeup before I started filming, so pardon. Um, and if you're familiar with the Beauty Blender, it's not this big. You, I'm not gonna go into a whole thing of how you use it, but pretty much you wet it, let it absorb water, it expands, and then you apply your foundation, your concealer, whatever, with this. It blends beautifully, hence the name Beauty Blender. Um, you will never be stuck with that like line of makeup or foundation ever if you're using this. I just, I swear by this. My first beauty blender um, lasted for a few months and then I ended up throwing it away. I think I'm gonna end up getting a new one shortly, um, but I absolutely love it. So to go hand in hand with your beauty blender, I highly recommend, and this is another one of my favorites, the Beauty Blender Solid Cleanser. When you open this, you just unscrew the cap. It's like a bar of soap, but I'm not sure what formulation is in this soap that makes it, it is like the perfect marriage for the Beauty Blender because it gets it so clean. I mean, you can see, I and I wear dark foundation, um, how dirty this looks right now. When I go through and wash it with this, it will look bright pink like that all over again. And that is what happens every single day. 
it cleans this thing like nobody's business. So if you are in the market, you're thinking about getting a beauty blender, um, the price is like $20 for the beauty blender, maybe 25. This is 15. It's a little pricey for what it is. I mean, let's get real. It's a sponge that you apply your makeup with, but an amazing sponge. And I've used dupe beauty blenders and I just don't think that they, they don't compare. They don't compete. Now I will say if you're, if you go and get a dupe beauty blender, which they sell them everywhere, um, Real Techniques makes one that people really love. I've seen different ones at TJ Maxx and Marshalls for like $3.99, $4.99. If you are in the market to get one, go ahead and start with one of those before you, I mean, I, I can pretty much guarantee that you would love this, but I mean, at 20 bucks a pop, 25 maybe, it's, it may be more cost efficient for you to get one of those cheaper ones. I still highly recommend getting this cleanser though to clean it because it really, I've tried cleaning them with just regular bar soap, with liquid soap, all kinds of stuff. It just doesn't get them as clean as this does. Next thing that I'm gonna show you guys is Pure Eco Snail Moisturizing Gel from the brand Tony Moly, which if you've heard of it, it is amazing. If you haven't heard of it, it is a Korean skincare line, Korean beauty line, really. Um, and this may sound weird. It is moisturizer made from the stuff snails leave behind when they're like crawling around, which I know sounds gross, but I will say this product is amazingly moisturizing and it smells um, phenomenal. Um, you might be scared it's going to smell like weird bug or dirt. I don't know what weird bug smells like. I don't know why I just said that, but dirt or something gross, it doesn't. It, it's perfumey. So if you don't like perfumey sort of scents, it does not at all smell like flowers or anything. It smells, I don't know how to describe more than it, it smells like perfume non-floral perfume, not a musky smell either. Um, it is so moisturizing. So I'm gonna take a little, it is, it is jelly-like. I mean, not that might gross you out too. This, this is not a product that I think is for everyone, um, but if you are looking for something that will really moisturize your hands, and, and leave them feeling pretty moisturized for a while. I know some lotions, it's like, once you put them on, they it's like your hands are moist, moisturized for, by the time I walk from here over there, and then it's like, they're dry and cracking again. Um, this does leave your skin pretty moisturized for an extended period of time. I'm not saying it's an all day kind of thing, but for a while. Um, this was $10 from the Tony Moly store in New York City. Um, I have been to, there's a Tony Moly store in my area. The price is more there. I feel like depending on the location of store in the States, the product prices change. Also, they have a website. The website charges even more. So I think on the website, this product um, and I will, again, I'll list the actual price, but I'm gonna list the website price, is maybe 12 or 15. Uh, if you're in the New York City area and you're interested in picking this up, it was 9.99 there. And it is a good size container of this stuff. I mean, I flew to New York and I was scared I was gonna get stuff, that they'd throw it away, and so I mailed it to myself. That's how, I was like, I have to have this. Um, but if you can get past the fact that it's, it comes from snails, um, you're looking for a good moisturizer and you don't mind that it's got a slightly perfumey smell, which it's perfumey in here. I just rubbed a fair amount because a little bit does go a long way on my hand and it sort of is there, but very lightly. So nothing, it's more concentrated, obviously straight out of the jar. But if you're looking for any of those things, I recommend this. 
it is it it does really work so next thing that i will show you are these l'oreal revitalift radiant smoothing wet cleansing towelettes um i use these to remove my makeup after i wash my face i wash my face and then you know you get mascara run marks or whatever i go back through with this i use this um, if I'm so I'm training for a half marathon and my I usually on days that I I go running I'll just get up in the morning brush my teeth and go I'm not and sorry not sorry if you're grossed out by that I'm not showering before I go on a long run where I'm gonna be disgusting and need to come home and take another shower I shower when I come back um, but I will wipe my face with one of these first thing in the morning just to kind of like wake myself up or whatever but I really like them because they do have some anti-aging properties in them. And you can, I've used wipes, facial wipes, um, specifically the Biore wipes, where you can wipe your face and don't get too close to your eye or else your eyes are going to burn. Um, there is none of that with these. They do not burn your eyes. I can get really close and, and try to remove as much makeup as possible. I don't have to worry about that. Um, so they are a really good product. I I love them. This is my second big pouch, and there's 30 of them. So when you get it, I mean, the pouch looks pretty flat now, but when you pick it up, it's a chunker. So, and I, again, I really like them. I think they're a good product. The next thing that I'm going to show you, um, I talked about in my last video, which was what's in my bag. It is my iPhone. Uh, it is the iPhone 6s plus in the color rose gold. I'm not gonna get too into it because I did discuss it a little bit I kind of went on a mini rant about it in the last video I will say I'm a huge fan and the things that it does are just amazing um, It has live videos. It has the Apple pay um, the you can unlock it with your thumbprint, which I know the the 5S and the 5C, I think, I might be wrong about that, um, did the same thing. But when you think about technology and how far we've come, it's some very cool, like, factor when it comes to the phone. So I'm a big fan. This is one of my 2015 favorites, obviously, because that's in this video. Another one of my favorites is a recent favorite, also majorly discussed in my last video. It is my... Tory Burch Perry bag. I am loving this bag. It gets better every single day. I'm not going to get too much into it because I I literally just did a whole video about it, but it is one of my favorites. My next favorite are these boots. They are from the brand Isola. They are, in my opinion, just so cute. And with a good size heel they are so comfortable so let me tell you i am a an event planner and i tend to be on my feet when i'm working an actual event all day long and these boots i wore a couple of months back at an event that i was there all day i mean and, and i'm talking like on the floor at 6 a.m off the floor around 8 it's a long day so 12 hours plus and they were just amazing they were so comfortable I never really had to complain about my feet hurting which has happened to me before I've purchased shoes that I thought wow this is gonna be great for walking the floor and whatnot and they've ended up killing my feet killing my feet so much I mean I'm talking I do events where it's like though that long a day but over the course of multiple days the last before the event in which I'm referring where I wore these I was wearing another pair of shoes just regular heels that I thought these aren't gonna be so bad by the last day it was almost like my feet I would go to put them in the shoes at the beginning of the day and my feet were like they don't want to get back in there it was so bad i haven't worn them since these i love i think they're amazing i got them from nordstrom rack um so it may be difficult to find them now but i did pick them up recently so 
you might still be able to. I would also check the website, but again, I'll list the price. Another one of my favorite items this year was my Fitbit. I wore my Fitbit every single day. Um, I've recently stopped wearing it because I will say my one qualm about the Fitbit is I think it was giving me a rash, which if you look online, a lot of people say the same thing. Um, but the company, my understanding, is that if you call them or write to them and tell them that it's bothering you, they will send you a brand new one. And I'm going to do that so I can start wearing it again. But it is, so this is the Fitbit Charge. This is not the Charge HR. Um, fun fact, I'm a total hypochondriac. If I have the HR telling me what my heart rate was, first of all, I don't have a concept of good versus bad heart rate. I would lose my mind. I would be like, I'm gonna have a heart attack. What's happening to me? Is this good? Is this bad? Is this too high? Is it too low? I, it would be a, a, a whole thing. So it's best I don't have those kind of things. This is just the regular one. It tells you the time. It tells you how many steps you've taken, obviously, because that's like a whole thing with the brand of Fitbit. It also tells you the miles that you've walked or run and it tells you how many steps, yeah, how many steps. Um, there's also an amazing app that goes along with Fitbit. You can track your exercise with it. You can track your meals with it. There are so many things that it does. Um, I highly, if you're, if you're looking for motivation to get active or if you're already an active person and you're looking for a fitness tracker, I can't say enough amazing things about Fitbit. I oftentimes tell people if I could work for Fitbit, I would. And if I could afford to work for them for free, I would also do that because I just think it's an amazing, amazing product. And I tell everyone about it and try to turn them onto it constantly, like strangers, legitimately. Next thing I wanted to show you are these shorts. They are from American Eagle. Um, they are distressed. They are the Tom girl or tomboy um, midi shorts, distressed. I'm not sure if American Eagle is going to bring these out again this spring summer season, but I love these shorts. First of all, I love anything sort of distressed or casually distressed. I don't like the kind of stuff that's like, it's a pair of jeans, but there's literally one giant hole from like your upper thigh to your ankle. That's not what I'm talking about. Things that sort of look like they could have been become that distressed on their own, I'm a huge fan of. And these shorts, just the, the look of them, I loved, but it's difficult I would never wear anything too short just because I'm kind of like a thicker girl and I don't want to I don't want to look like that girl who's out there wearing like super booty shorts when she's got a whole like a huge dunk going on. That's not who I am. So I tend to not buy things like that, but these shorts are such an amazing length. Like they're not super super short and they're not granny long either they're a perfect like marriage right in between um i fell in love with them i bought another pair so i have this exact same pair of shorts just another one that's why would i show two of them so i don't have it here but um that's how much i love them i was like i have to get another pair and i would get another pair if i could find them again that's how much i love them um, so I picked them up over the summer, again at American Eagle, I'll list the price if I can find it. If I can't find it, I'll, I'm really good at keeping receipts, so I'll just look through my receipts and I'll list it for you. Um, but yeah, if you want a pair of distressed shorts that aren't super short, um, but then aren't like Bermuda shorts either, I would go to American Eagle and see if you could find these because they're awesome. and. We will be, I know it feels like a really long time from now, going, well, if you live in the States, going back into spring and it's gonna start to warm up. So hopefully if you find them and you, you know, think you wanna wear them, you won't have too much longer to wait to do that. So for some reason, it felt like that last whole sentence, I had a very hard time getting out of my mouth. 
apologies. So the last thing that I wanna show you are a couple of pieces of jewelry that I've recently gotten purchased or gotten as a gift. Um, and it's not the piece of jewelry that I wanna show you so much as the store that I got it from that I'm loving. So the store is called Ashley Marie Monogram. It's on Etsy. I am a huge Etsy lover, Etsy shopper. Um, not only do I just think it's great to support small businesses, um, but I just, I tend to find really amazing, cool things on that, on that site. So Ashley Marie Monogramming created all of the jewelry that I'm about to show you. Um, this necklace, this beautiful ring, and this adorable bracelet. I mean, like, let's, let's be real. That's so cute. A lot of this stuff is sterling silver, um, which is great. She sends cleaning cloths with everything. She's very responsive if you want to ask her questions. Um, I, I just can't say enough about this little shop. It's based out of Georgia. The girl is super sweet, Ashley. I just, I love it. There are so many, every time I go into the virtual store on Etsy and I look at her stuff, I'm like, I want that, I want that, I want that, I want that. And you can do that with so many places on Etsy. Really, Etsy should be one of the things in my favorites of 2015 because there are so many unique things. You can type in anything and there is someone who has made it or is selling it or created it or whatever. It is a really, really phenomenal website and a, an amazing place to give small business owners or people just getting a start in doing something a chance to get their brand out so there. So that concludes my favorites of 2015. As always, if you liked this video or found anything interesting about it, please thumbs up. If you liked what I discussed and you wanna subscribe, that would be fantastic. Um, I will be putting out a new video next Wednesday. If you have any questions for me or questions about anything specific from this video or my last video, if there's anything you would like to see me film in the future, please also list it in the comment section below. For now, thank you so much world and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.